Hey y'all, it's Coach in the Fight here. Uh, got a little something on my spirit and I wanted to share with you guys. And it's talking about the blessings associated with the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, we talked about the um, punishments associated with it. We talked about it being a rapture watch date. We talked about it, you know, potential earthquake, you know, in, in one tabernacles, you know. But we never really looked at, into the blessings of what we get out of it, you know. Well, I was looking through my notebook um, earlier today, and you know, I looked at the at a, um, some notes I had there dealing with the Feast of Tabernacles, and it talked about blessings associated with it, and it was over here in Deuteronomy chapter 16, and so I said, well, let's come over here and take a look. Let's see what the blessings are with tabernacles. Now we do know that you know the there are blessings you know with the other other feasts so let's see what the ones are you know with uh, tabernacles starting right there verse 13 verse 13 it says thou shalt observe the feast of tabernacles seven days after thou has gathered in thy corn and thy wine now remember these are harvest feasts you know the we have been doing these feasts for a long time we know there's a lot of people that's new to this and that's okay um, but there's a lot of people who have been doing these feasts and relying on these feasts in order to get corn and wine and beans and you know chickens and you know everything else we you know we, we want to eat you know uh, let's go on and thou shalt rejoice in thy feast thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite the stranger and the fatherless and the widow that are within thy gates so you say well that's everybody yeah it is everybody you know but it's everybody within your gates he says uh, seven days thou shalt keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord shall choose because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thine increase and in all the works of thine hands and therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Okay, now here is the verse, guys, that we've been that we've been leading up to. This is the the blessings associated with the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, I've been listening to you know Deuteronomy for the last couple of days, and this hasn't jumped out. You know, like I said, I, I saw it in my notebook, and it's kind of hidden here. But look at what it says. It says uh, first of all, it says shout seven days. Shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God? Okay, shalt thou meaning is man meaning that you, you meaning that is mandatory. And we did a class on that too. He says, um, in the place which the Lord shall choose. Okay, now we don't really know absolutely where that place is. You know, he he, he kind of leaves it open there, doesn't he? He said, the Lord which he, which the Lord shall choose. And we got that old third temple business going on, but you know, that's going. Cool. But here's the here's the thing. Because, he says, thou shalt do this because the Lord, because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in thine increase. So when you put those two together, I'm saying we shall do, we shall do this and he, gon he shall do that. You know, tit for tat kind of a deal. So once we do this feast, then we're going to get these blessings. Then look what, what are the blessings. Because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in thine increase. Now. I, I don't know if it needs a lot of explanation. I, I I I I grow stuff now. I put seeds in the ground, and I expect those seeds to increase. But you know, there there's other people in the other professions or other things that they do to to make a living. You can imagine they have a different increase, but you know they they can expect their increase too, right? Or a blessing in their increase too. He says, and in all of the works of thy hands, in all of the works of your hands. So how about you got the Midas touch? So one of the one of the blessings associated with with um, the, the feast of tabernacles is you know everything you touch you know it works you know you grab something you start working on the next thing you know it works you know I've seen that one work both ways I've seen it where everything I touch you know you know turn to gold and then I've seen it where everything I touch turn to something else it's, it, yeah and I can attribute it both to the feast of tabernacles and then he says therefore thou shalt surely rejoice then they go that word again. Therefore, thou shalt surely rejoice. So that so rejoicing is a requirement. It's a requirement, according to the way I understand. We have to keep the feast for seven days, and we have to rejoice for you know during during this feast in order to receive these blessings. Now they look to be worth it to me. I don't know about you guys, but you know I'm gonna get the rejoicing. Y'all hear that music in the background? 
we're we gonna we're gonna get some more peppy music we're gonna get the rejoice around here praise ye the lord hermes academy power patience continence and faith we teach virtues 